This YouTube video will show you how incredible dumb or wolf scientists in Scandinavia are, and probably other places in the world too, and how they feed or politicians and the people with lies. You will hear with their own word, their definition of a wolf. What do you mean you may ask, wolf isn't it a wolf? What is it then? The thing here is, there are so much dog in the wolf that running around in the Scandinavian forest and other places in the northern hemisphere. I will concentrate this to the Scandinavian area. Yes to wolf, no to wolf hybrids. Sit back, I will tell you some about it. There is more to this story so what you will hear here is just the surface of the iceberg, in hope to wake up some curiosity and finding information for yourselves in this topic. Before we begin you have to hear some background story, that will strengthen the credibility of the scientist's stupidity. From early ages the Eskimos and Indians made some experiments on having wolves to pull the sleds across ice frozen lakes and snowy mountains, in hope that the wolf was stronger and more durable than the dogs. What they found out was that the wolves were not that durable because their short legs and long body, that makes the wolf very fast but not as strong as the dogs to pull the sleds in the deep snow. What they also tried was to create a hybrid like dog between wolf and dog, at the end of all these experiments they stuck to the dog to pull their sleds. The Russian military trains a mix between dogs and wolves, and call them Vokasobs. They do this cause they want a guard dog that don't bark. If you didn't know, real wolves don't bark, the Russian military want these hybrids to mark without barking. Where the refugees or smugglers tried cross the border so they could make a surprise arrest, what makes the Vokasobs hybrid so valuable to the Russian military is their ability to outperform any dog species. For example, while German shepherds would take about 4 minutes to sniff out a hiding criminal, the wolf, dogs were able to do it in just 15 to 20 seconds. These hybrids are superior to dogs in every aspect that counts, they have a heightened sense of smell, 6 times sharper than a dog, their grip is unusually strong, allowing them to bite through protective layers of plastic and felt, and they can withstand extreme temperatures. What does this have to do with the hybrids running around in the Scandinavian forest? The point I'm making here is that humans are the source to this fuck up between wolf and dogs and creation of the hybrids in the past. It seems like it is a big money industry now, full of lies. Well I'll tell you here more later, hang on and you will find out. With all this hybrid wolves populating our land, it is hard for ordinary people to see the difference between a wolf and a dog, even though the experts in the field have difficulties cause the hybrid have so many dog similarities. You may see a big long-legged creature, short body, looking like a dog, as I mentioned, the wolf have short legs and in proportion to their longer body. Take a real wolf paw print for an example. They are significant different from a dog's paw print. Most dog breeds have feet smaller than 4 inches long. The wolf's paw are much larger, longer and wider. You can draw a straight line horizontally from the crown of the back nails, without touching the front pad print. Now you can also draw a cross pattern between the pads without touching a pad on either side. A dog paw print you can't draw these lines without the lines crossing or touching a pad. This stays why all these creatures or hybrids playing wolf in or backyard, you may come across some track in the snow. And for the experts to make sure it is a, in their eyes, a wolf, they have to measure the distance between all four paw prints, and then follow the track a given distance to clarify if it is a dog or a wolf. Careful observation reveals that dogs tend to wander about, sniffing, while real wolves generally travel in a straight line. In addition, a wolf's paw prints reveal that the front and hind feet travel in a line, called direct registration. Dogs' front and rear paw prints are generally not aligned. Now hear what the experts say when they see the thing they call wolf. Och det jag har ganska enkla svar. Det som ser ut som en varg, en varg. Det som beter sig som dessutom som en varg, definitivt en varg. Och är den dessutom genetiskt också en varg så är det enligt vår uppfattning en varg. Och det jag har ganska enkla svar. If it looks like a wolf, it is a wolf. If it acts like a wolf, it is a wolf. If genetic test shows it is a wolf, it is definitely a wolf. The shitty thing about the statements is, the politicians buys it. Let's get back and talk short about DNA and genetics. Well the thing with DNA you have to have a reference DNA bank from at least 50 up to a 100 real wolf samples. The reference DNA bank the experts playing around with today are waste and trash if you want to find out if it is a real wolf. 
cause the DNA they have, are only usable to find out about relations between the hybrids. I promise you that Darwin is twisting and turning in his grave. You have to know the answer this expert's telling us to how this hybrids evolved. First of all, they are well-spoke people, hiding behind high-rank titles in the scientist communities and makes themselves credible as fast they open their mouth. And if you don't know anything about what they are talking about, as a politician you're amazed whatever coming out their mouth and you believe them. That's the dumbest thing of all. I don't blame you. Hear what one of them telling us. Och under den långa tid som hund och varg har funnits parallellt i samma områden så har det hoppat över gener från hundar till vargar. Då och då korsar sig vilda vargar med hundar och föder upp avkomman i den vilda vargpopulationen. Och det gör det att vi har fått ett flöde tillbaka från hunden in i vargen under hela tiden. Samma sak åt andra hållet naturligtvis. Well, when the wolf and dog meet back then. What do you think happened? Did the wolf rape the dog, or the dog rape the wolf? Hmm? There are evidence that the dog gets killed before he get an erection and tries to get a laid. Before I'll show you the evidence, I will warn sensitive people for gruesome images. What made the wolves say woo when wiggles the till then? The only way is from controlled environment like in a lab and illegal zoo activities or similar. Some believe that the hybrids are placed on strategic chosen locations in the forest, males and females so they can meet and create a hybrid pack of their own. If that's true, isn't that a criminal act? Here is the official story of how the wolf returned to Scandinavia. The wolf was claimed to be extinct in Scandinavia in the 1960s. In the early 1980s three wolves migrated from the Russian Finnish population all the way to the county of Vormland in southern Sweden close to the Norwegian border. These wolves founded the new wolf population and multiplied successfully into about 200 wolves before some more wolves arrived naturally from the Russian Finnish population in 2008. Today most wolves live in the southern parts of central Sweden. The problem I personally have with that story is, why isn't there more wolves up in the north? Should it be packed with wolves there now? No there is a belt in the middle of Scandinavia that are full of hybrids. I don't believe the first hybrid from Russia and Finland took their time to walk down there and then populated themselves in the middle part of Scandinavia. In the north there are a lot of moose and food that wolf feed themselves with and are their favorite meal. So why did they not stay and bred and prosper from all wild animals and goodies? No. According to experts they passed on that opportunity, and the story where the first hybrid were seen in Trissel in Norway, right after the clear signal were given that Scandinavia should preserve the wolf. Years before, no one had seen a wolf in this areas, they could be seen in the northern part of Scandinavia, and if someone saw one, it would be shot, you got paid if you shot a wolf, that were the days. What in the black hole? How did they populate this middle part as they have? Were they planted? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now what to do with this species of hybrids? Well first of all the politicians have to know that they've been written laws from the false facts and lies from those called experts. Before all animal activists hammer your comments. I don't blame you either, cause you have been feed with this lies too. Back to what to do with this problem. First off I think our brave hunters should be offered an education to take a special certification to hunt wolf and take down all clear hybrids, to be sure the more dog-like animals no longer populate our forests and land. According to EU Commission document, crossings of wolves and dogs, hybrids, as well as wild dogs, must be removed immediately from nature. And another thing is, if the predator gets too close to populated areas, by force be placed back deep in the woods or be shot. If cattle are harmed by wolf, hunt them down. They have so much to eat in the Scandinavian forest they don't have to feed on cattle. Wolves are incredible intelligent, if hunted by man, they learn to fear them. They won't make the same mistake twice, if they do, probably to mush dog in the genes and needs to be removed immediately. In Norway in the spring of 2017, two women were out walking, when sudden they see a hybrid further down the mud road, so they decided to turn around and walk home. The hybrid follows them over one kilometer. In a newspaper there were a comment that the wolf maybe were curious. 
How curious can we let the hybrid become? What if, kids playing in the garden, see a cute puppy, decides to front the predator without knowing what may happen? This can be the scenario if we let them too close to populated areas. I have a YouTube video, where you can hear real stories of wolf attacks on people from around the world from 2016 and some in 2017. Playing around with hybrids are serious business, not what you want your kids to do. This might not be the answer to all of the problems the scientific community have caused, because the problem is so severe, and the damage is already done. I blame those who really should know how a real wolf look like. We need to set up a new plan, with people who really care of the wolf, to nurture the wolf and protect the real species, if there are one, so that Darwin can go back to rest in his grave. And please, if someone sees an injured or a wounded animal, contact the authorities so the animal don't have to suffer more than necessary. You may not know, a limp wolf is the last one to feed from the prey and may not get any food at all, or be the eaten by the other in the pack. That's the predatorily behavior of the wolf. We can't let animals suffer. That's why we need some laws that gives the authorities the power to stop this type of suffering. Thank you for listening to my incredible sexy robotic voice. And don't forget, leave a comment and press thumb up. While on to pressing things, press the subscribe button. Then you will be noticed on new videos. You find links in the description down below to places where I find all my information. And please feel free to share this YouTube video with as many people as possible. It is an important fight to get back the real wolf. If we want to have back the wolf of course. Thank you.